Hey, it's been a while since you saw my face. Hey, I'm back. I know it's been like, what, over a week? I was on holiday. I'm back now. So stop worrying. I'm here. All right, I'm here. Before I get started in today's video, I just want to say thank you for all the subs from the last video. It went a bit mad when I was away, so cheers for that. We're now at 800 subs. I think I was at like 600 when I left, so like, fucking hell. Cheers. But anyways, welcome back to Shit of the Week. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a big YouTuber going by the name of Colleen Ballinger, or Miranda Sings, as a lot of people will know her by. Basically, if you don't know who this person is, she was a YouTuber on the platform that went by the name Miranda Sings. Now she was a huge, huge YouTuber back way back in 2016 times. And she'd do like stupid comedy videos of her singing and trying to teach people how to sing. She's actually also a music coach. She used to teach Ariana Grande back in Nickelodeon days. See, that's pretty big. But anyway, she's recently come under hot water recently. A lot of allegations been thrown her way regarding Dirty messages, dirty picture messages, asking fans, young fans, to send her pictures of their ass through Discord and stuff like that. Now, I was going to make a video on all the allegations themselves um, about two weeks ago, but then I kind of lost track of it and I'd done the Lewis Buckham video. So, you know, I was like, right, I'll do this first. But now she's come up with an apology video. <laughs> and it's probably the worst apology video you'll ever see on the internet. So yeah, you're seeing that right. She just whips out the ukulele and starts singing. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if you are under some serious allegations such as she is, do you think the best course of action is to whip out the ukulele and start singing a song about it? I don't think it is. There's plenty of ways to go around talking about allegations. One, the best way is to prove that they're false by showing all the evidence. There was no evidence shown here. She shows no evidence here at all. She just carries on singing. It's, it's so bad. And two, it's just to admit that you're in the wrong and you won't do it ever again and just kind of leave the platform itself. Take accountability. Okay, accountability is a big word here, right? Everybody should take accountability for the actions that they've done, be it good or wrong. You should always take accountability. But in this apology, she doesn't. She basically is blaming everybody else, saying that they're just throwing accusations at her and trying to cancel her for no reason. Now, if that's the case, then prove it, right? Prove it. Show us some facts. Show us that you're innocent. She even says that her management team and her other team, whatever team it is that she's working with, says not to comment on the situation. But she can't not sing about it. It's just cringe. It just makes my stomach turn upside down. You know what I mean? At the start of the song, or the apology, she says, doesn't matter if it's true or not, as long as it's entertaining to you. So a lot of people are saying some things about me that aren't quite true. Doesn't matter if it's true though, just as long as it's entertaining to you, right? Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't find allegations and stuff entertaining. I find it very bad, right? It's not good, especially if you're a fan of her, right? Why would you find the allegations entertaining? You wouldn't. I feel like it's just such a sly dig at everybody saying I'm not in the wrong, but you guys are. Okay, I'm not going to apologize, but you should. It's not a good look, mate. You've not proven anything here. You're just asking for people to apologize to you and feel sorry for you. That's this whole song, by the way. You can watch it all. I'm going to play a few clips through the video anyway. You've probably already seen some, but I'm going to play a few clips. That's all it is. It's just, ah, oh, pity me, woe is me with my three million subs and these allegations that aren't true, but I'm not going to prove that they're not. And the chorus of this song is also, it has the lyrics in it. Welcome aboard the toxic gossip train. The train of misinformation. All aboard the toxic gossip train. You're chugging down the tracks of misinformation. The toxic gossip train. You got a one-way ticket to manipulation station. Now... 
yeah, sure, if it's misinformation, like I said, prove it. Also, all the texts are there, mate. All the evidence is there. You've given nothing other than whipping out the ukulele. So, I don't know who looks stupid here. It's you, if you want to know the answer, it's you. It just baffles me sometimes that people can't take accountability for their stuff, you know? Be it true or not, right? These are all still allegations, so we don't know what's true or not. But this kind of holds it as it is true. And she just doesn't want to take any accountability for anything that she's done. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if she's losing a lot of subs right now. If you go and check, she probably is, right? And there also are probably people liking her stuff. I see that the video itself has like 64K likes. I can't see the dislikes because I was checking on my phone. But everybody I've seen that's talking about her recently is saying the same thing as me. They're just clowning on it because it's stupid. You shouldn't be in character while apologizing, right? You shouldn't do that. This isn't a funny thing. This isn't something you can make jokes about. This is something that you have to take seriously. I think people that do apologies always get it wrong. There's only as like a handful of times where an apology is all right. You know, like an apology actually comes off pretty sincere. This isn't sincere at all. This is, I've done nothing wrong. Go fuck yourself. Toxic gossip train. Time to the tracks and harass me for my past. Cause rumors look like facts if you don't mind the gaps I won't survive in the crash but hey at least you're having fun we're not having fun this isn't fun yes it's giving me content but it's not fun to talk about this isn't a funny topic if it was a funny topic I'd be making jokes all the way through it it's serious you know what I mean like if you're gonna be grooming underage kids that's not funny Where's the joke there? One of the only things that she says in this song is that when she messaged her fans, she wasn't trying to be creepy. She was just trying to be besties with them. Many years ago, I used to message my fans, uh, but not in a creepy way, like a lot of you are trying to suggest. It was more of a loser kind of way, where I was just trying to be besties with everybody. But the way she says it, it comes off very sarcastic, very are uh, moral high ground-esque you know it's like you can't do that you don't talk to underage fans yeah sure reply to a comment but that's about the limit you don't just go out of your way to start asking people when they lost their virginity when they had their first period oh send nudes send me an ass pic that's creepy that's weird that's grooming material mate there's no going away from that you've not addressed that You've not addressed the grooming stuff. You've not said anything. You've taken the moral fucking high ground in an apology, which isn't an apology. It's just a woe is me. Simple as that. That's it. The whole song that you've made is shit. The song sucks, for one. And it's definitely not the first take, so I don't see why you even put it out. You'd clearly listen to that back and think, oh, this isn't very good, actually. This isn't a good idea. But no. But no. You thought, you know what? That'll do. That'll save my reputation. Well, sorry, it's not gonna. The only thing that's gonna save your reputation is if the truth comes out and you were telling the truth, right? That's the only way. But even that, now that you've done this, no one's gonna respect you for this. Everyone's gonna remember you for this. That's it. That's your reputation now, mate. That's done. We're done. This is worse than that dancing apology from years ago from that TikToker cunt. I can't remember their name. But it was horrible. It was all horrible. All the apologies. I used to, I made a video on like apologies fucking years ago with my mate, right? And they were all so bad. Like the rice gum apologies, you know, the fucking T Martin apology, all that shit. This is worse than that. This is the worst apology video on the internet to date. I've been sharing my life online for over 15 years. I've poured my heart out to you and because of that I feel like I'm talking to my friends but in the beginning of my career I didn't really understand that maybe there should be some boundaries there. If you think that your fans are your friends then you are wrong. Okay there's a line between fans and friends. I don't even like calling them fans. Just viewers in general. You can't just talk to people like your friends. You don't know who they are. You don't. The only way you can actually talk to them as friends is if you've had a proper interaction face to face or even online for a headset or something like that. Maybe then, maybe then, but not through text, all right? Not through text, it's not good. That's not good at all. 
It's just so stupid. It's so dumb. As a creator, you have a responsibility, especially being a huge creator as well. But as a creator, you have a responsibility to keep people safe. They should feel safe in your community. They shouldn't feel like they're being groomed or asked for nudes or anything like that. That's not right. When it gets to that stage, you're doing wrong. Definitely doing wrong, all right? That, that's not a thing that you should be doing. I don't see how I can even get to that stage to begin with, but here we are. I just want to make this video before I go away again because I'm going away for four days. I will be back next week, so there will be a video next week as well. But yeah, I thought I'd make a video on this because I saw it last night and I thought, fuck me, that is the worst thing I've seen in a long time. But yeah, hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you again to all the new subs. Welcome. There will be videos every single week on here. I've just been away, so get used to the new schedule be every single week and yeah that's about it stay away from miranda sings or colin ballinger or however you say her name and uh don't send people weird creepy texts it's not cool man and don't apologize using a ukulele either because who the fuck uses a ukulele anymore that's cringe it's 2023 get a guitar or something Ugh. all right goodbye have a nice one have a good rest of your day or week or whatever you're doing and stay safe. Goodbye.